I'm Mark Halley and Mr. Saltwater Tank, come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. A lot of tank automation can make maintaining your tank easier, and it can even eliminate some tasks around your tank. Now while that's great, pinpointing exactly how tank automation makes your tank better, that can be hard to do. An exception to that rule is internal flow on your reef. One role of internal flow in your reef is to bring in nutrients, carbon dioxide, and oxygen to your corals and take away waste products. It's generally accepted among saltwater tank experts that the more flow you have, the faster your corals grow. You also depend on internal flow to keep detritus off the rocks and to avoid very low flow areas in your tank called dead spots. Knowing all that, how does tank automation and flow work together to make your reef better? First, you're creating high and low flow areas. This is important, especially if you have a mixed reef tank, as you're going to have corals that have high flow needs and then corals that have lower flow needs. With varying flows, you can meet those needs all at the same time. Number two, you're avoiding flow coming from one direction. When flow comes one direction, your corals can end up looking like this. This coral is clearly getting flow from only one direction, which is making it grow away from the flow. The result is an abnormal looking coral that also looks like a hurricane is blowing through. Number three, dead spots don't have to be dead spots for very long. By varying the internal flow in your reef, dead spots can become a higher flow area. When this happens, any detritus that's caught in that dead spot, you get picked up, put into your water column, and then swept away into your overflow and caught by mechanical filtration like filter socks. Now to get these things done, you're gonna need power heads to create the internal flow and tank automation to change things up. Note, while closed loops can create internal flow for your tank, they're largely obsolete, especially on tanks that nearly all of you that are watching this video run. Therefore, I'm focusing on power heads for internal flow in this video. Power heads come in two flavors, controllable, non-controllable. Non-controllable power heads run at the same speed all the time. Controllable power heads let you vary the speed and some even let you vary the flow patterns for even more variety of flow in your tank. If you're running a non-controllable power head, at least turn them on and off during the day. The switching on and off of power heads can be done with a low-tech light timer or for a more versatile solution, a tank controller is utilized. With a tank controller, you can turn on and off the pumps as often as you want. Pro tip, switching between one power head on and one power head off to both power heads on creates its own unique flow. When both power heads are on, you've got flow smashing against one another, which is a distinct flow pattern. So if you're varying your flow, don't forget to have all those power heads on at one time as well. Going up on the tank automation scale are controllable power heads. Controllable power heads have varying flow rates, and some even have built-in flow patterns to simulate ocean conditions. Now to vary the flow rate, you're going to need a tank controller, a dedicated controller for that power head, or an app. More versatility means more choices, which means more varied flow for your reef. For example, on my 448 gallon reef, I have four Ecotech Marine MP60s and two MP40s. These all work together to create varied flow patterns throughout the day. Sometimes I'm simulating a low energy lagoon, and sometimes I'm simulating a swell crashing in on the reef. The change in the flow all happens automatically with zero input from me. Even on budget reef tanks, the current USA Wave loop pumps and AI Nero 5 also change their flow patterns automatically. A soft coral tank has an alternating flow pattern where when one power head is ramping up, the other is ramping down. Then the flow pattern switches, and the power head creating less flow ramps up, and the higher flow power head ramps down. Automating your flow can be high tech and higher dollar or lower tech and lower dollar. No matter where you are on the gear budget spectrum, a varying flow with tank automation can be achieved. Pro tip, no matter what type of power head you have, try turning the flow way down or completely off 30 minutes before your lights turn off. I found my fish to be much more active when I go for low flow before it lights out. That's a great time to enjoy your fish as everyone is out and about and usually taking a casual swim around your tank instead of dashing through the flow. Varying the internal flow on your reef helps your corals grow faster, it can reduce tank maintenance, and it makes for a more enjoyable viewing of your fish. Now if you don't have a controllable power head, at least turn the power head on and off to create different flow patterns. And if you do have a controllable power head, by all means, use the capabilities of these pumps. Create different flow patterns, ramp them up, ramp them down, Use what you got, man. It's part of the reason you bought it. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.